Hi! In this video, I want to show you how I made this little um, treat basket. What you're going to need is a piece of cardstock that measures uh, six and nothing, six by six, and then you're going to score it at two and four, turn it, and then two and four again. You can also score two on each side. Um, and then you're also going to score from the inside corner of the, the center square to the outside and the same on all four sides. Okay. Then you're going to fold your scores and burnish them with a bone folder or your nail. And then you're going to do the diagonal ones, which you're going to fold in half, put your fingers right around, right along the edge of that score, and fold back. Again, to the center, hold it, and pull forward or back. I don't know, however you want to look at it. Fold, hold back. Fold, hold, and back. Okay, once you have that done, then you can add your designer paper. Actually, I added already the, the tape, the score tape. You can use the sticky strip if that's what you have. Um, and what I did is I added the score tape, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's to the triangle closest to the this square, not going past the score. Can you see it better here? Um, from here to here without going over here, and you're going to do that on all four sides and then also on the back and on the back on the same same places. See I have one here and one here and if I flip it I have it here and here which is the, the same side. Okay so this is going to be the center of my box and I'm going to add the designer paper and the designer paper meshes one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. Then I already have a template that I made um, to where I'm going to put my brad, see? Um, and the way I did this is I took a two and a half or two by two square, uh, yeah, square, two by two piece of cardstock and then I found the I found the center which was one and then I made a mark here and here and then I did a straight line and then I measured three quarters of an inch not three quarters of an inch three eighths, one, two, three eighths of an inch, and I made a little mark, and then I punched a hole, and that's my template. You can always do it without, but um, I just like to do it with the template. Then you're going to take a 1 16th punch and punch that hole. If you don't have a handheld punch of 1 16th, you can always take your... Um, paper piercing tool and punch a hole 
that way. Okay, then you're going to take your um, brads, these are silver, and you're going to put one on each of those little holes you made. Okay. And I found at the store this super nifty um, tool. It's made by We Are Memory Keepers, and it's to open the the brads. You know how when you go and try to do it with your nail, it hurts. Well, this does it for you. So I think it's the coolest idea ever. So just want to show you that. Okay, then I'm going to take my handle, and my handle measures th uh, three quarters of an inch by seven, and then I have my designer paper that measures five eighths by seven. In my case, it's a little bit shorter because I didn't have enough paper, but it doesn't really make a difference because it's going to be covered. Then I'm going to take more um, score tape, and I'm going to add two small pieces to the ends of my handle, on the front. Now I'm going to peel that off. And I forgot to run my fingers on this. But there. Okay. <clears throat> and also take the backing of the tape. And for this, you do you do need to use something strong, like uh, score tape, sticky strip, because this is what's going to hold your entire box together. So you want to make sure that it doesn't come apart when you're giving it to somebody. Okay. Now I'm going to take my handle, and I'm going to add it to my box up to my brad. And the same thing here, up to my brad, kind of centered. And then I'm going to take my box and fold. Oh. And fold it in. Okay? And then I'm going to take my embellishment. And this is a scallop of red with piercing on all the scallops. And this is the one and three quarters. Then a pink circle. And this one is the one and three eighths. And then I stamp in white with real red ink and punched it out with my one and three quarter circle punch. And I added this to my pink and my scallop with dimensionals. And then I'm just going to add this to the front of my little box and it's ready to go. I'll just add some crinkle paper and then some candy and it's ready to, to give away. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Um, and if you have any questions or any comments, please uh, let me know. Thank you.